Spiders are fascinating creatures to watch and study. We've teamed up with the British Arachnological Society to show you how to make a temporary spider enclosure and show you how to look after your eight-legged friend. To make the enclosure, you'll need a plastic sweet jar, a sponge, a plastic lid from some supermarket hummus, sellotape, a craft knife, some twigs, and some cotton wool. First, with your craft knife, make a 1.5 centimeter square hole in your plastic lid. This is where you'll deliver your food and water into the enclosure for the spider. Most spider species will want to make a web. Place sticks inside the jar to provide a framework to support it. Also, place a small piece of damp sponge near the food hole entrance. This will hold water for the spider to drink. Now it's time to add the spider. Place the spider in the jar, stick the lid with the sellotape, and bung the food hole with the cotton wool so the spider doesn't escape. Caring for your spider is very easy. Make sure the sponge is kept damp at all times, so the spider has a water source. Also, make sure the enclosure is kept out of strong sunlight and away from radiators. When the spider has made a web, pop a live fly into the enclosure. You should feed your spider every week or so. In the time you look after your spider, you might notice it will shed its skin as it grows. If your spider is an adult female, it may even produce an egg sac. Your spider will also regularly clean itself and keep its enclosure tidy. Spiders are very house proud. We recommend keeping the spider for up to a month, then setting it free where you found it. Find out more about spiders and the fascinating world of arachnids on the British Arachnological Society's website. Let us know how you get along caring for your spider. And as always, we have an info pack on our website. Links in the description below. Catch you later.